Hey guys, this is just a video about what uh, console uh, gaming headset I think is. Headset, console game, whatever you want to say. So, um, let's go to the uh, actual sound card. This is the thing that lets you hook up your um, the headset to the Xbox and get the sound to it. It is a Creative Sound Blaster XTG. You know, all that, see all the stuff there. All this stuff basically means it's pretty high quality HD. Oops, HD sound or whatever, which helps you hear, uh, you know, all the cues in um, fucking what is it, video games, Call of Duty, Halo mainly, for all the pros and stuff. That's really important, so you can hear where they're coming from, footsteps, if they're reloading, all that good stuff. So this helps you do that because you see there, it's an optical in, optical out. So um, optical is one of the higher quality ones. It's better than the old uh, red white um, I don't know cables for audio uh, and the headset plugs in all three of these it's better than uh, one plug because more is better right but it's actually it's not right here success rear front and then subwoofer so you can hear sounds from the rear front and then I don't know more bassy sounds I guess that would help somehow but uh, in the setup I use I don't use any of these plugs because the headset just plugs into these three, that's the power, and then you just plug in the digital for the sound from the Xbox. But I'll show you later in the video how to actually set it up. So my review of this, my quick little, I don't know, preference or whatever for this sound card is it's great. You know, nice high quality, no buzzing, no, I don't know, static cause from when no sound's going on. It's nice and clear, crisp. You can find it online on eBay or Amazon for anywhere from 50 to 100 which is another pro of this setup it's fairly cheap fairly affordable um, and it's not like a crappy like cheap mic it's actually pretty nice but uh this isn't being sold in stores anymore so that's only reason to just look up eBay and Amazon so that's the sound card which lets you plug in the uh, headset to the Xbox and hear it cuz without it it wouldn't work and now here's the actual headset it's a Turtle Beach what are right Turtle Beach HPA2 it's one of their, I think it's an older headset. It's one of their, I think it's one of the better ones. I like this more than the uh, X41s and the X31 and all the other newer ones. Uh, as you can see, it's one of these headband things. This thing sometimes will get stuck in my hair, but other than that, it's comfortable. Uh, there's this stuff, helps it stay secure or whatever. One of the main cons of the headset though is just that this main stat um, from, I don't know, pulling it like that, pulling it too hard. So let's go to the earmuffs. They're not as padded as it was like, but you may or may not have seen videos where you can just put tissue in them, and that really helps with the um, comfort. So if you're a big comfort freak, I guess, you can always just do that. Uh, there's a side, Turtle Beach, Turtle Beach. What else? Oh, mic, you know, nice and uh, positionable for whatever. It's also detachable, right? detachable 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 if I can do it but um yeah you can pull it out but it stays nice and secure so it's not like one of those flimsy ones that like pop out or wiggle or something it's nice and securely placed uh one of those nice comfort good quality and then we'll go to the cable this is the main um thing I guess whatever the hell this thing's called but you don't use this to plug into that. You use one of the Turtle Beaches, um, or I use, I don't know if you guys would use it, but I use a uh, thing that came with it. Uh, one sec, let me grab it. So, one of the cons of the setup is the cables. So as you can see here, there's quite a bit of cable. I don't know, I'm positioning you on the ground. Just throw this on the ground. So that's quite a bit of cable for the headset. Um, the actual part that came with the headset is just this. I'll get rid of this. So you saw before it plugs into here. I'll go more in depth setup later, but for now, the review of the review part, I guess. It's nice and stays in there. 
Okay. <laughs> there we go. It's nice, solid, as you can see, it's nice, solid, uh, shiny. That's a plus, but it's nice, solid construction. Uh, and then this thing, the E-Force HPA 6 channel headphone amplifier. Uh, it's good quality if you just want to use this, because you can just use this. Plug it into a computer. So this is fairly good quality, but this coupled with the Sound Blaster is, I think, better. You can decide if you want to get it or not, but of course it's better with a more external uh, sound card. Then all the cables, the USB is used for power, so you plug that into Xbox. This is the mic, pink mic. Then these ones, um, it's like subwoofer front and left back. I forget which one goes where, but you can just Google that. So that would solve that problem. Um, oh, and then the long of the cable, this is what you need to be able to plug into the controller. I have a, you don't need it this long unless it's like farther away, but you would plug the pink into this, then it just turns into that. And you add an adapter, and this is the one fourth. Um, actually, no, is it one one eighth? Yeah, smaller is. I mean, the bigger the number, smaller it is. Um, this is actually plugs into the uh, Xbox controller. You know, the little mic input, so it allows you to talk. Another con of it is that you can't really just sound a uh, chat volume unless it's in game. But for me, that's not big a deal. Maybe for some of you, but I still think it's worth it. Uh, ch -ch -ch. So, I guess this is a pros, just the price. So I got the headset, you can get the headset for 50 to 100. Uh, I get the Sound Blaster for 50 to 100. Uh, so that could be anywhere from 100 to $200 for the setup. And then the cables, you can buy those from like Hong Kong or whatever on eBay for like less than 5, less than 10. Uh, the sound quality, actually I'll put up a picture right now of the speakers. Uh, this little like diagram Turtle Beach has, and it shows there's a crap ton of speakers in each ear cup, which is more than, um, I don't know, more than average, more than the Astros and all those, which is more stimulated sound. This actually has speakers for each uh, sound cue, so you can get more speakers and you can hear the sound cues easier, and then you can get more kills. <laughs> but the uh, cons are, uh, I just wrote this down here, was it, oh yeah, comfort. You can just add tissue, but for me it's not a big deal. Uh, but if you do like really, really comfortable, I just add tissue on the inner side. There's a video out there. You just kind of shove it in there. But um, yeah, you can just add comfort. I mean, add com make it more comfortable. Um, then another con is, of course, that you can see the cables. But for me, I just shove it all behind my like TV. I don't know, like setup. You know, like TV chair thing, desk. That's what I want. Desk. Uh, TV desk and yeah so all in all I think it's pretty good it's one of the best ones for the price the sound quality the comfort um, main con is just set up and the cables but I mean most most teenagers probably have some time to kill um, so that's not one of the main you shouldn't get it just because you don't want to deal with some cables mm. yeah so uh, I think that's a good review uh, go into the setup, but be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. It'll help me get more views, help more people see the video. Yeah. So, uh, now let's do the, uh, setup video. Alright, so first step in the setup is just plugging this, you know, sound card, the XT, in. You get, this is the power cable. Plug that in there. As you can see, there's a red light on, if you can see that. A little checkup, whatever. Let's see if you. There we go. So the light's on, so it's powered. And then you take this, which is a uh, oh crap, optical cable, which comes from the Xbox. And in the new Xbox, there's a actual optical cable uh, built in. You can't see that, but um, yeah. But if for the older ones, you can always just plug it in right in there. You can see the optical cable can go in there. Or in the newer ones, there's an actual port, which is nice, in case you're running HDMI. But if you're, if you are running HDMI and don't have the auto cable in the back, you can always buy an adapter online, and that will fix that problem. So optical cable going from Xbox into this, that's the sound, because it never plugs directly into the TV. Like you see some adapters, uh, so light up. So you can see there, this is the sound. 
plug this into the optical in, obviously. You don't want sound going out from the sound blaster to the Xbox. So there we go. Sound goes into the sound card. So next, headset. The headset. So, you have the long ass cable with the, uh, this thing, let's see, this thing's plugged into it. I mean, cons, like I said, is a cable, but, um, so USB is the power for the headset, so you have that plug this into the Xbox, then you will plug the orange, green, and black into the back of the X-Tiggy. Uh, so let's do the USB, the back of this, and then... Here, I'm going to quickly Google, I forgot which one's which, because the back of the X-Tiggy is uh, subwoofer rear front, and the colors, um, they're like uniform, whatever, like everyone, they're, you know, it's like pink, green, mic audio, this is the same for, this is like, you don't understand, huh? <laughs> uh, so, show you. Thing called Google. No, no, I'm just gonna. Actually, no, I'm not gonna cut it. So, uh, what do I type in? Uh, green, orange, black cable. Which is which? All right, black is generally the rear. This is on a Yahoo answer. You can't see that. All right, so fuck that. So um, yeah, I just googled it. As you can see, you heard. So pink microphone in, blue line in stereo, green line out front speaker, orange center, black rear. So on the back, you just line those up. I forgot. Uh, blue. No, I don't. Green is front. So you take the green cable, here, let's see, there we go, the green cable and plug it into the front, take the black, let's say black is rear, put that in the rear input, and then orange is subwoofer center surround, so put the orange into the what does that say? Subwoofer? Yeah. C slash subwoofer. So, there we go. We got the cables plugged in. So, the audio will now go to the headset. So, it goes Xbox, optical cable to the sound card. And then the three plugs in the back from the um, sound card is hooked up to the headset. So, yeah. Um, oh, now we got to do with the uh, other check. If the USB is working, you just turn on this, and the light goes on. It's a pretty bright light on the video, but, um, yeah, this helps you, this, you can control the vol volume right here, as well as the volume actually on the XTD, if you can see, no, here, lower you guys down. There we go. So, as you can see, there's knobs here. Control volume and all that good stuff. Uh, turn that on. It's a CM, CMSS, I think you want that on. Not sure. Someone can say in the comments below. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, and then to talk to people. That's important. Here's the pink cable. And then these cables I have right here are the ones you have to buy online. You just buy a 3.5 millimeter female to male, which is this. So you know 3.5. It's what pink is and so you plug it into here all right because this cable is too short obviously to plug in your controller see now this long nice cable that you have to plug into the controller but as you can see this is a 3.5 millimeter it's not small enough so then you go for a one of these nice little adapter it is a 3.5 female so the male goes in the female obviously and then the uh, 
one eighth um, male, which then can fit into the controller. So there we go. So quick review: Xbox has the audio in it. I guess you're taking that from the optical, plugging that into the sound card. Then you're getting the audio from the sound card, which is doing all the crazy HD whatever crap. And you're plugging the headset into the back, which then the headset takes the audio through this thing and to the headset. And then to talk to people, you just have the side thing up, the pink part, the pink plug of the headset just plugged into this cable, which is plugged into the controller. So, um, I think that was fairly clear. If not, you can give me a thumbs down or comment saying you need help. I'll try and respond to you guys. Um, so yeah, that's about it. It's my review setup of the egg created Sound Blaster, Egg Stiggy, External Sound Card, 5.1, whatever, and then the Turtle Beach HPA2 with the, so what does this say? I'm just reading off. Six channel headset amplifier. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, favorite. It helps me get more views. Subscribe so I can make, I don't know, Maybe some money. Probably not, though. But um, that'd be nice. Just some, some more subscribers. Keep me motivated to give you guys more videos, more stuff. Because I got some more stuff to review. And, yeah, that's a long video. This is 8 minutes. This is like a 15-minute video. Alright. So, uh, thank you guys, and see you next time.